Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing the expert uh, blind playthrough on Iron Man uh, Enabled. Expert, expert, Iron Man is the right way to say it. And uh, we are on the last leg of this playthrough. Today I want to finish a few of the quests here. Dromba Castle is being the first, uh, but we want to check. So before we do anything, do we have cool the items? The prince, the more we have the a lot of um, a lot of tools for sure. One thing that I don't like is we can't get the other. Apparently, the other items this seems to be not implemented yet. Um, pretty sure I haven't missed that much. So yeah, soon to come, I suppose. That's uh, the part of the early access games. Well, well. Look who's here. Yeah, it's a me, Saiken. I had a feeling the woes befalling our region would attract your ilk. If I could afford to, I'd send you back where you came from. But it so happens that I need people like you. Discreet and daring. The most brilliant minds of this county are headed toward the Tomb of the Ancients. I want you to join them there and protect them from the creatures roaming the ruins. One more thing, mercenaries. If I'm entrusting you with this mission, it's not because I like hiring cell swords. I expect you to be more discreet than my soldiers. Under no circumstance should you draw the Inquisition's attention. Uh, you've made your point clear. The prince stopped paying maybe young. But given the infant mortality rate in our kingdom, he must start producing descendants as soon as... I feel like I can't take a single step without being questioned by... <laughs> Great. Very Irish uh, dialect here. Appreciate the choice. Okay, so off we go to our next adventure. And of course, we can't take a couple of steps without polar bears uh, chasing after us. But thanks to global warming, they are now frail and thin and can't run as fast. Good. Thank you. That's some great loot. I think what I want is another python somewhere up here. Good. Placing a python. Very good. I wonder what kind of bandits are roaming up here. Like, they are so far off uh, from the rest of the world. What are they thinking? Yeah, let's mug the polar bears. Pretty sure they have big fat loot. Of course. Good, here is a red den. You can already see that. We don't need uh, red den at the moment. I have about a trillion uh, pristine essences. That's one of the beautiful parts about having uh, purple weapons. You get them once and they keep the oils even when you upgrade them. Good. I think we need to sleep here and then we're going into the mount, uh, mount there. Mm. 
It seems, by the way, that the cold is making it much more difficult to uh, regenerate. Before we help you, let's uh, get our priorities straight. <laughs> they are fighting and we're just mining away. Don't mind us, we're just here to collect. As always, we're fighting against level 14 enemies this time. Imbalanced bears. No trades, no trades, no trades, and no trades. Level 14. Somehow they have a little bit more hit points. This guy is going to stand back. Good. More and even more. All right, Pauly. I think this time we're starting with a solid draw all together and teach them not to F with us. good whilst we are at that uh, might as well charge over here bear, bear on bear I wonder who's going to win Good. Sprint over here. <laughs> Weakening them. And yeah, they are hitting hard, but so are we. Good. Some solid damage. Um, so he begins to shoot this guy back into position. to apply bleeding elsewise this is not going to be ending anytime soon triple bleed that's good and whilst we're at it More slowdown, more bleed, more rage. I like it. Um, Why can't I angry swipe? Alright. 
Apparently I can't. Shouts for fragility and then that's the hit I was looking for. Very good. Gosh, they are hit point sponges. Unbelievable. Good, move up, hit, more hits. Unfortunate. <laughs> almost, almost got him. Could knock him out, but I don't want another beer. So yeah, we're instead going to try to kill them. Down to 50 hit points. Um, He's now gone into Berserk, and Berserk means a lot of damage for us. Good, moving down here. Nope, we're not stopping. I want that last bear down as well. There we go. Wow, look at that. I mean, they, those level 14 were earning 50 experience. Compared to the training stummy, this is completely ridiculous. Why? Why did you save me? The eye sent those bears to kill me. I deserve to die after a dead survivor's reckoning. I'm a heretic. 
I have slaves. I made a fortune on my neighbor's backs. I didn't go to church. Everything that's happening to me is my own fault. If, if the townsfolk think I'm a true believer, then it must be true, right? Yeah, sure. Maybe the Ice Reckoning was targeting someone else. My slacker of a slave, for instance. Yes, it's his fault, not mine. I won't sacrifice myself for that heretic. Take me back to the lake. All right, great story as always. A couple of very, very single-minded people, shall we say. It's a good depiction of medieval logic uh, that this game has. Good, now our job is to somehow go and deliver him. Still not sure if that's the last quest. I mean, we got one in the temple, right? Right. And then it's a matter of there must be one more quest. Uh, has a chance of mining good quality gems. <sighs> okay, I'll do that off camera. All right, yeah, solid 40 for zero hit points. Uh, experience. Not a very legendary. So we got something else that is legendary, an Inquisitor Knight Greatsword and a Legionary's Gladius. Unfortunately both in absolute basic quality. Basic bitch weapons that we... I wouldn't say don't really need, but... Uh, we have just way better weapons. Good, we get the little secrets here and there, which is fine. And we're almost done with the escort quest, which is also not bad. Yeah, I think all things considered, could have been much worse. And again, all things considered, I wonder how I get up there. The answer is potentially not at all. We need to rest here. Slowly but surely, can use that. A little bit of that. Too much alcohol, not good because we would get drunkard as the status normal food soon yeah that's where the uh, white hunt appears again but that's not exactly whom we need to kill for the other quest that we so far skipped 
can come back to that uh, to the wild hunt quest in a bit I distinctly remember it was like up here for now let's escort and uh, finish storyline quests Be looking for work. Here is your reward. Civilian. So the question is, where do we hand him in? Um, discreet and daring, no. The price of drinking, is that it? Find out what happened, no. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh. Well, I guess since he's the innkeeper, I would make the suggestion the inn, potentially. I don't know if I'm allowed to rent rooms or sell my master's. Apologies, but I have nothing for you. Hmm. Can we speak with the guy? Okay, how how to deliver him is the question. We're tasked with finding the heathens who are while we're at it. Yeah, we don't want to deliver him here. That's so the right place. Any news by Saint Elia, not here. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Wait. Silric, I'm so happy. Mercenaries, you brought him back as promised. Please accept this reward. Don't worry about the village. We know how to hide our innkeeper from the Inquisition. Okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but uh, brings us to 60%. We're not quite there yet. Uh, and I think one of the na next tasks the is actually going into the temple. My customers are so scared of being questioned by the Inquisition that they... Good, let's see if we can cook something new. But the basic recipes sometimes are the best recipes. Gives you enough to survive a few days and I want to get rid of one of the bears because they are actually eating a lot so I think next up uh, since that's our only lead we're going to the temple we have rebuilt this bridge here so I will give that a short visit just for uh, for completion and then we're off uh, to the temple all right, before we are moving up to the temple, I just received a message whilst camping that the Inquisition wants to see us. No idea what exactly they want, but we're caught in a thick, thick snowstorm. Holy moly. You may wonder why I, an Inquisitor, would call upon unbelievers like you. Well, the reason is that the mission I wish to give you goes against our precepts. I was even forbidden from enlisting the help of other Inquisitors. Okay. I don't think the Inquisition's usual methods will appease the God of Light. The Eye's Reckoning is different in Drombach. More frequent, more powerful. And I want to find out why. Sure. Oh, very well. Our first order of business is to study the victims of the Eye's Reckoning. Good. Then let's do exactly that, Mrs. Inquisitor, as long as you don't double-cross me or start uh, belittling us for not believing. So 
So, up here, there should be the victims of the Eye of Zeloth or whatever she's talking about. There's nothing left of these merchants' wares. They could have been slavers or fur traders for all we know. That said, slavery goes against the Eye's teachings. So it could be the reason for their death. Let's not tarry. Good, where do we want to go now? Oh, I see. She has quite a few uh, locations where she wants to go. Might I interest you in my humble ways? Oh Might yeah, you of course could. Thank you. A little bit of wheat is always appreciated and I'm talking about the the wheat that you can uh, bake bread from all right inspecting bodies up here Alizarian soldiers no surprise here. These men probably blasphemed or committed some kind of crime again. But I don't understand. These bodies are nothing like we saw earlier. We should keep going. Good. Something is not adding up is what she's saying. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find out. Drumbug is a fine concept. I really like it. My understanding is that there might be more that's going to be added to the world. Potentially in DLCs. Are those wolves? Why would the eye punish? It you? doesn't make any sense. Jeru's precepts clearly state that animals cannot commit heresy. When Could you there say be that? A connection with the other reckonings. We studied three different occurrences and they didn't seem to have anything in common. It's as if as if the eye was striking at random no that's impossible the god of light does not punish without call all right we keep on searching not a pretty sight. The pony pulling the cart seems to have exploded. I wonder what these farmers did to deserve to die like this. Maybe they robbed a shrine on the way or insult. Maybe we're not approaching the problem the right way. Let's consider these bodies as a whole. The number of victims and impacts left by the eyes reckoning seems to increase as we move toward the celestial mountain. There must be something there. Something especially heretical. I'll meet you there with reinforcements. Okay, well. I think it's a big showdown. Let's eat up and meet at uh, the mount. If I had to take a guess, it's now going to uh, set all of it up for the creeper. Creeper king that we have tried to fight. And where we've gotten utterly annihilated. But not this time. This time Saiken is prepared. Celestial Mountain Gate. Okay, but... Is a bit different than the other entrance. By the beast's fangs, I just can't catch a break. The mine collapsed and... What? The Inquisition is coming. Curses. If they manage to get inside the mountain, a war could break out. We must stop them from reaching the gate at all costs. Okay, I will follow you, but only after... I've taken all of these valuables with me. Can't let ore go to waste. Not in this game. Oh, 
Okay, apparently there is nothing to follow here. <sighs> Yet again, a good old fight. In the name of the eye, let us through, soldier. This mountain is off limits, by order of Prince Herald. Do not oppose the will of the God of Light. Your prince is just a man and... And you're just an inquisitor. Is this funny to you? Mercenaries. These soldiers are heathens. They are trying to hide the heresy taking place in... Stop! Mercenaries! What's in this mountain is beyond their understanding. So, I think this time I want to fight against the Elazarian soldiers, mainly... So this here gives a Rimsteel straight sword, and this gives us uh, the Herald of the Eye. I think I'll take a bow, and more thoroughly, Elazarian soldiers have these heater shields, Elazarian heater shields, and I hope that maybe we get lucky and get a drop. These were the ones that uh, allowed to automatically parry. I sincerely hope that we could get one. All right, as so often in this game, things end up uh, in tragedy and violence. Okay, so let's buff you with orderly, and then we're taking this new slot of bravery gains zeal, which massively increases crit damage. There you go, and we're moving in. And we're of course going for the heaviest guard enemy. Because we can break guard. And that is good. Yeah, unfortunately, can't fully get him down. we can stand in the way which is a decent start I think this is a job for Mr. Pauly JP pulls them together and then slices them nicely through Alright, Zoe hits and takes the archer out, which is important. Afterwards, stands here. I think this flank here is a bit under equipped. Behave. This guy is having a really bad day.
or even critting on all of our axes. Lost his in almost his entire guard just due to the passive. Unbelievable. Yeah, nice try. A little bit of mud will not uh, keep the bear away. You might want to be telling you the, uh, this in order to make you sleep better at night, but when the two paws are knocking at your door, uh, it's time to accept the reality. The boogeyman is there. that followed up by a little bit of this and a bit of that Jim is finally also migrated into the camp of damage dealers Slowly but surely we're wiggling them down and filling up our bar. So how many more are hiding here? Not that many, that's good. Fragility and time to teach him a valuable lesson. Our tanks are almost taking no damage whatsoever. Crazy. Enemy reinforcements. Yeah, put them into the mud, that is a really good idea. Being sarcastic here, of course, it is a horrible idea. Slowing all three of you down. And yeah, not much they can do. But let's start breaking the tanks. By the way, 80% uh, guard is crazy. As long as we have that, we're almost taking no damage whatsoever. Good, time to apply fragility.
And a bit more damage. Yeah, nice try, buddy. The bear isn't even injured. Good, some weakening. And some extra hits. I think that's good. Not enough to kill him, but good enough as a start. Taken away the guard. Not much that he's going to do now. One, two, and he's down. I'm not seeing anyone with heater shields, so uh, that's. A bit of a bummer. Still hoping that we could get some. Should have taken that one first. Anyways, still good enough. Fragility and a solid dose of claw and his life. Good. They're now officially surrounded. Yeah, and and uh, the bears are now officially going berserk. Which is not going to be fun for the enemies. I mean, look at that damage. Fragility. He still has 80% guard. He has one of uh, those return shields. Gotcha, okay. But he has lost his guard. And without the guard, no dice. Wow, he has also just lost his guard. 500 damage on a guy that still had guard. That's some respectable damage. Good, did we get a heater shield? No. Level 12 armor. Yeah. If that would have level 13 armor if that would be two stars or three uh, slots that i could socket then sure but good thing i brought reinforcement now let's see what they're hiding yeah i'm curious what would be so heretic mercenaries we found it! Beyond this gate lies the heresy we're looking for. 
I'm sure of it. As this discovery would not have been possible without you and your unfailing. Good. So what did we get? Herald of the Eye. Level 12 bow with uh, Ice Arrow. If the target, uh, target has no guard or armor, the damage is uh, trepulled. Hmm. It's actually not too bad of a bow for the fight that we're soon going to be in. Because that means we are de uh, dealing 180 points of damage prior to crit. On the other hand, this bow deals way more da base damage. Nah. I mean, it's cool triple damage against unarmored targets. Good, which neatly brings us to the last uh, mission and my per uh, personal vendetta against the king here. But I think I'll leave that as a cliffhanger. We've taken long enough for today. I know, sucks, but uh, I promise it's going to be a great fight the next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can now place your bets down in the comments below and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.